Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good morning. Let us now uh, uh, complete our discussion of Mahesh Tatani's plays with a final play uh, called Dance Like a Man. And the like the title of the play suggests, it again is a comment on uh, the association of, uh, the exclusive association of dancing with women and femininity. And here in this case, you have a man who uh, who uh, is a Bharatanatyam dancer, man and his wife. So the the characters of the play include uh, Jairaj and Ratna Parik, who are both in their 60s when the play begins. And they're both, uh, you know, especially the wife, Ratna Parik, more, more than a husband, is a renowned uh, Bharatanatyam dancer. They have a daughter called Lata, who is also a young uh, dancer who wants to aspire to make it big uh, in the foreign uh, dance uh, festival circuit. And you have, uh, an outsider named uh, Vishwas, who uh, is the son of uh, the owner of a sweet store in Commercial Street, again in set in Bangalore. You must do what is expected of you. You cannot even earn your livelihood from this dance. Are, but don't worry, I will never stop you from dancing. You were interested in higher things. In Kuchipudi Bapu, the men dress up as women. <laughs> you promise you'll allow me to continue with my hobbies? It was when this was a hobby. Our Lata will be the talk of the town, the star of the festival, the dancer of the decade. A woman in a man's world may be considered progressive, but a man in a woman's world is only pathetic. Can Why you I... give me back this interesting? When did I ever take it? Are you happy? for her. Why shouldn't she get reviews like these? After all my efforts, you should have listened to your father. Dance has brought us nowhere. It's his curse on us. The play opens with the possibility of an intercaste marriage between uh, Vishwas and Lata. The, the play is largely set in uh, the ancestral home of uh, <coughs> the Pariks. And it's a home which has a lot of uh, antique uh, furniture. It's an old house, and um, it uh, you know has uh, bears memories of uh, a rich uh, ancestral past. And um, Lata hopes that wish that her parents will will uh, will will uh, permit her to get married to uh, Vishwas, and she also hopes that Vishwas will allow her to get married or uh, will allow her to dance after their marriage. Right? That's the only condition that she has. Lata's own parents, of course, belong to different castes and regions. Her father is Gujarati, while her mother is uh, Ratna Parik, is a Devadasi woman, right? A woman who has, uh, who belongs to a family of women who have dedicated their lives uh, to uh, local uh, temples uh, for whom uh, they perform, right? So they, and so there's a lot of association that uh, historical association of uh, the Devadasi with uh, prostitution which is not uh, entirely correct. Right? So uh, Devdasis are women who belong to different caste groups who are from a very young age dedicated, uh, dedicated to uh, local deities and temples where they perform as dancers. And uh, they may uh, choose to live outside the normative uh, fold of uh, the patriarchal heterosexual family or they may also choose to actually have a male patron uh, to whom they may not necessarily, they may not be married. So they have, they get financial support from their male patrons. And so uh, Jairaj's father, Amrit Lal, who is this uh, very uh, renowned and famous uh, uh, businessman, is completely against uh, his son Jairaj getting married to a Devdasi, to the daughter of Devdasi, which doesn't want him to get married to Ratna initially. And there's again these uh, interesting flashbacks across time, uh, across a period of 40 years, from the time Ratna and uh, Jairaj were young to, to, to the present when they are in the 60s. And now they are parents of uh, Lata. And so um, the house is full of antique furniture. In the present, Amrit Lal is dead. And uh, the front room is recent, 
the front room, which is an extension of the house, is recent and it's meant for outsiders. But the, the, the inner part of the house is the original house, which is full of uh, antiquities. Jairaj and, and Ratna, we discover later, once lived with Amrit Lal, but they had to leave because Jairaj's father, Amrit Lal, was against his wish to become a dancer, to be a dancer. Right. So he, uh, Amrit Lal disapproves of Jairaj's uh, desire to be a dancer. Jairaj, uh, when Jairaj grows his hair long, um, uh, you know, that uh, Amrit Lal begins to think that his son has become rather effeminate and probably even homosexual. And so he stigmatizes and chastises his son for his desire to become a dancer. And she, but he has no choice. So Jairaj and, his, and, uh, and Ratna, once they get married, they move to Ratna's uncle's place. But then Ratna's uncle begins to uh, make uh, sexual advances to Ratna. And so then, then they return to their father. And uh, by this time, the father, Amrit Lal, has to take them in. And he has no choice but to give in to his uh, son's desire to marry this woman, to be with this woman, and also to become uh, a successful dancer. Ratna, of course, on the other hand, also constantly resents Jairaj for not standing up to his father. Uh, she always ch ch you know, berates uh, Jairaj for not being uh, uh, you know, an upright a man who stood for his uh, principles and his desires. In the present, uh, in the first act, in the present moment, uh, both Lata and uh, Jairaj are unable to, I mean, both Ratna and Jairaj are unable to find uh, someone who can play the Milangam for uh, Lata's new foreign uh, performance. Performance that Lata will have to give before a committee, uh, selection committee that will uh, will uh, select the best dancers to perform in Canada. Right. So uh, they they are trying to, they're desperate to find someone who can play the Milangam for uh, Lata's performance because the Milangam player has slipped over his dhoti and, uh, you know, and uh, injured himself, so he cannot be part of the performance. So, but Lata, Lata's mother Ratna is desperate to find someone who can play for her daughter's performance. In fact, she's desperate that her daughter should gain the fame and, re and renown that she won, that she had when she was younger. And so she thinks that um, uh, she is solely responsible through her sheer efforts in, uh, in actually securing her daughter's future as a famous dancer. But, and then uh, Ratna, much to her dis disgust and disapproval, has no choice but to ask Sheshadri, uh, a man who is having an affair with another dancer. Jairaj also thinks that Ratna is, uh, is right in her uh, judgment of Jairaj. Right? Uh, she, he also feels that perhaps after 40 years of being a dancer, he has accomplished nothing. Jairaj is also an alcoholic. He uh, drinks a lot. He spends a lot of his time drinking. And uh, there are constant flashbacks in the play which suggest, uh, which develop uh, Jairaj's relationship with his father, Amrit Lal, further. Amrit Lal, who was a, was a freedom fighter, uh, who fought against untouchability and dowry, but then uh, also is, uh, you know, ironically regrets uh, marrying his son to a Devdasi. And uh, he did that only out of his liberalism. So if you remember the uh, character of Ramnik in uh, uh, the earlier play we discussed by the Dattani Final Solutions, we have a similar character here called Amrit Lal, who is a, a liberal freedom fighter who fought against untouchability and dowry, but is now un unwilling to uh, marry his son to a Devdasi. But then only did it finally chose to do it or agree to it only out of his liberalism. And um, like many other people, uh, many other freedom fighters, many of the social, so, social reformers of his generation, Amrit Lal assumed that uh, Ratna was a Devdasi who had to be reformed uh, by, um, by getting her married to his son. Right? So there's an assumption that uh, she, must be, uh, she must have been a prostitute like her, uh, for, uh, for, uh, like her ancestors, uh, for which she has to be reformed into marriage. Amrit Lal, of course, constantly also uh, cannot tolerate his son's uh, appearance, right? He constantly makes fun of uh, his son's guru, who is, uh, seems to be effeminate and, uh, and probably homosexual like uh, his son for growing his hair long. Right? So this is kind of constant uh, perception, this, this prejudice against uh, male dancers as being effeminate and, uh, and gay. But then finally, Ratna, uh, you know, is determined to actually further her own career as a dancer, uh, despite her father-in-law's disapproval. 
and uh, she wants to learn dance initially from an old uh, uh, dancer, an old woman who never had the opportunity to perform because she's also a Devdasi. And so she wants to learn from a very old Devdasi, much to her fa father-in-law's disapproval. And uh, Jairaj also wants to start learning Kuchubudi. This is, of course, a flashback to when they both began dancing. And Jairaj again wants to learn, start learning Kuchubudi, where uh, men dress up as women and perform. Right? So uh, that becomes another, uh, another challenge to Amritlal's liberalism. And, um, but then Amritlal has no choice uh, because his son Jairaj is adamant to, becoming a, to become a dancer. And uh, finally, he, Amritlal makes sure that he pays the old uh, Devdasi off. In fact, he bribes her to prevent Ratna from uh, seeing her. Right. So he almost gives the old uh, poor Devdasi woman, the teacher, uh, money, bribes her into to pre prevent her from meeting and talking to Ratna. And therefore, then later on, Ratna and Jairaj decide to leave Amritlal. Right. Uh, but finally, uh, Amritlal gives in and allows them to practice, uh, to, to practice in his own house. He allows uh, their guru to visit his house to teach them dance. Although he is still ashamed that his son is uh, growing his hair long and isn't manly enough, but uh, he also knows that uh, Ratna married him because he's a dancer and will allow her to dance. So the only reason that Ratna marries uh, uh, Jairaj is because he's also an aspiring dancer and also because he will allow her to dance. But, uh, you know, in the world of dance, we realize that uh, a lots of uh, moral compromises have to be made. So Ratna realizes that she has no choice but to flatter uh, the different, uh, you know, the the uh, the VIPs, the uh, the uh, uh, patrons of uh, the dancing field, uh, in order to actually uh, secure her daughter's career uh, as a dancer. And so Dr. Gauda, who is one of these very important uh, lawyers and clients and uh, patrons of uh, of dance, uh, puts uh, Chandrakala on the selection committee. And Chandrakala is the same woman with whom the Pradangam player Shishadri is having an affair. So he puts, uh, Dr. Gada puts uh, Chandrakala on the selection committee to, do, to choose dancers uh, to uh, dance at the foreign dance festival at Canada. So Ratna, against, much against her own principles, has no choice but to flatter Dr. Gada and to win his favor for the success of her daughter's show. There are, of course, later on, uh, rave reviews of Lata's performance, which appear in the daily uh, newspapers. And um, uh, then there's a discussion on an argument, which borders an argument between Jairaj and Vishwas, uh, where uh, Vishwas uh, discovers uh, the very excited to see the rave reviews of Lata's performance in the papers. And he shares them with Jairaj, who has read them. And Vishwas is not very comfortable uh, with Lata, you know, doing, uh, performing uh, erotic uh, dance items, right? So he, um, in fact, Jairaj then has an, I mean, has an argument with Vishwas, uh, a rather defensive one, where he tells Vishwas that he performed the same erotic uh, dance uh, performances before the army, for which he was highly appreciated. Uh, so there is this, again, this, uh, this moment of tension between uh, Vishwas and Jairaj over uh, eroticism and performance. Right? The entire play really is about performance itself and about uh, the um, stigma of men uh, performing and the stigma of women performing uh, eroticism on stage. Uh, Ratna is convinced that it's basically her hard efforts at flattering the critics and the patrons that and the sponsors that have uh, made uh, the papers uh, that have enabled, that have compelled the papers to write good reviews of Lata's performance. Uh, we also discover later on through many flashbacks or the conversations between Ratna and Jairaj that Ratna had probably tried to, uh, Jairaj accuses Ratna of eclipsing her, eclipsing him in all their performances until she outshone him. Right, so uh, it's not a, it's not an, it's not a level uh, playing field for men and women uh, in the world of dance. Men uh, do not have it easy because when they have a wife or they're competing with with women who are uh, uh, you know experienced dancers, it's not easy. Partly because of the perception, uh, the common prejudice against men who dance. So he he does feel rather insecure which is why he turns to alcoholism. He turns, turns to drinking because he, he cannot bear the fact that his wife, uh, he feels, has in some sense eclipsed him and betrayed him by outshining him, by competing with him, by, be, by being his, uh, his primary rival. 
and uh, there's also another secret which is revealed towards the end of the second act of the play where we discover that uh, Ratna and Jaraj once had a son called Shankar uh, and uh, that um, uh, that uh, the son Shankar was a baby who had been neglected by uh, uh, Ratna during her uh, heyday as a dancer. So there was apparently no one to feed the, the baby uh, on the nights when Ratna had uh, to perform. Uh, so uh, the baby was often put to sleep by the nanny uh, by, by being fed with, uh, with opium. Right? And so the nanny, she discovers later, we discovered later that, uh, that they lost the son to excess of opium. Uh, the child was made to sleep uh, by the ayah with, with opium. And so we discover that that is how they lost the son. And so Jairaj accuses Ratna of, um, of being a negligent mother for uh, losing their son uh, and by choosing her career over her son. And so that is something that he always uses as a weapon against Ratna for, uh, to uh, make her guilty for having uh, remorseful, for having um, uh, outshone him, right? for having completely eclipsed him in their performances. But then Ratna has a different perspective. Uh, she thinks that Jairaj has not uh, taken on the rest, the, put in the hard work uh, to actually be a good dancer. He has given up too early in life and has turned to uh, alcohol simply because he could not uh, take up the challenge of, of practicing and of becoming a good dancer. Jairaj thinks that his father used Ratna to dissuade him from dancing while giving her the freedom to dance. Right? But Ratna thinks that Jairaj is responsible for his own alcoholism and turned down invitations uh, to dance because he did not want to dance alone or because perhaps he could not acknowledge his own mediocrity. And uh, so that is the uh, uh, the tension, the friction between husband and wife, both of whom uh, uh, are dancers. So while, while uh, Jairaj thinks that his father used Ratna to dissuade him from dancing and uh, while giving her the freedom to dance, uh, Ratna thinks Jairaj is actually responsible for his own alcoholism and for his own uh, inability to actually work hard uh, at his own dance. Or perhaps also because he cannot acknowledge his own mediocrity as a dancer when compared to her. And towards the end of the play, there's a vision of Ratna and Jairaj dying. Uh, there's a vision, uh, kind of an almost imagined, fantasized vision of them reaching heaven where they seem to learn from their own past mistakes as dancers. And in the present, Lata has married Vishwas and now has her own child. Right? And so Lata seems to be a fairly successful dancer, also because she's married to a man who allows her to dance. While the previous generation of Ratna and Jairaj learned, learned from their own mistakes uh, as they seem to be reaching heaven, and they realized that uh, it was their own insecurities and their own um, inability to actually make their marriage work or even their dance, their careers work, uh, that... Um, has made them uh, the failures that they are right today. So that's how the uh, play, the play Dance the Command ends. It ends on this, 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 no, this note of this generational, intergenerational difference between a couple and older couple who are both uh, eminent dancers, but due to their own insecurities, their own uh, desire for their own ambition, that they are not able to actually uh, make it together as successful dancers. Uh, and uh, Lata, who is now married to a man who allows her to dance, who has her own child, but has also made it uh, big in the field of dance. So that ends our discussion of Datanya's place. Thank you.